Uh, he's going to be here uh, next week. Monday, oh, it's next week. Twelve and thirteen, I think. Oh, so at the end of the week, July, Thursday and Friday. I apologize. Let me lower this down. Um, you won't see this very well on the video, so you got to be. All right. The first, the first one is an intercept. Um, the zeros of a function are blank for which. All right. Um, they're the same thing, right? Hmm. We call it points. Right? So the zeros are those intercepts, right? But they're there when y or f of x is zero. Right? And that's how you find it. Sound good? Good. Write it down. Come on, good day. Sir, what time is the basketball game? Shortly. May I go in and open? Mm -hmm. True or false, to find the zeros of a function, set that function equal to zero, and solve for the independent variable. True. Yes or no? No, true, sir. Sure. All right. Um, we don't need to know letter B because we haven't gotten there yet, but here's the answer. True. It is symmetric <laughs> to the origin. Ha! It is symmetric to the origin. Yes. Look at that. You play the lottery to answer. Buy a ticket. Yeah, please. No more money in the kitty. <laughs> No one, well, only one person wins, right? Or a few people. Yeah. If they go in as a group. Put your life savings in it. You're bound to win it, right? <laughs> what are the odds? What are the odds? Sir, if you get to. Uh, all right, so if I went to a credible source, you told you. If you sold your house and used that money to buy one lottery ticket that's that price, but you had a 70% chance to win, would you do it? Uh, I'm trying to. Trying to so, like, if you sold your house for $80,000, right? And I had a 70% chance to win? Of winning, and you bought an $800,000 lottery ticket. You got 70% chance to win. How much are you winning? It's, it's 70%. I mean, no, I, 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 I would do it because I ain't got nothing left, right? Uh, okay. You got to be, you know, it has to be disposable income. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sell my, my house to do it. 70% chance? What does he lose? He's done. He's going bro. Almost. He's going bro. No, you see, Tyler can just go back to the army, bro. He's not true. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a pension anyway, so it doesn't matter. I got back up on the phone. I'm going to see what First, don't worry, we're just join the army. The VA loan? Zero percent. Very good. No, I got the job. He died, joined the army. Yo, Hurst, low key, bro. Join the army. Hurst, join the army. So he's asking us which one's true. No, like, actually, join the army. I don't know. I don't know. If I yeah. Tickets, I don't gamble. I don't yeah. Gamble. All right, here we go. Ready? The zero of this function, what we just said, set this function equal to zero. And what would x have to be? Two. Good? Good? Do you see it? You know how to solve this? Do you know how to solve it? Nope. 
Or you do not know how to solve a two-step equation. <laughs> you are juniors and seniors in high school, and you cannot wait, solve this wait, for wait, us. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I'm hey, gonna... language. Oh, sorry. I just saw this, sir. I saw it. Yep. I saw it. Are we right? Are we here? So if X equals two, it's gotta be this bad boy, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Good. Good. Yeah. Given this function right here, what happens if I input a two in for every x? <laughs> um, <laughs> do the work. Do the work. Don't call it out. Do the work. Come on, put it in. So f of two. Is equal to negative two squared plus three times two minus five. Do the work. I don't know if that's right. I'm trying to believe last night. I got three. I got two. <laughs> All right, what do we do first? Let's square it. What's two squared? Four. Negative four. No, it's four. It's negative. No, two squared is four, but there's a negative in front of it. So we have negative four. Three times two is six. Six. Minus five. That's two. That's one. You're gonna visit her. What? I got to give you a sign sign. Come back later. Uh, I'm so fucking stupid. Why are you using all that? Yeah, what are you doing? Bro, we break Good? Are we there? <laughs> Does everybody understand? Did you write down how to solve it? All right, I trust you. Oh, we're at the bottom already. Here are the answers. Okay, what's the domain of this function? What's the domain of this function? Right? Are there any values of x that I can't put in here? Right? This is f of x equals 2 divided by x minus 5. Are there any values of x that I can that I am not allowed to put in because it doesn't exist? No. No? Are there any values of x that I can put into this function that don't exist? Yes. What? Incorrect. I don't know, sir. How, when is a fraction invalid? So, negative three fourths is not a fraction? No? Wow. What can I never have as a denominator? Zero. Zero. So what number zero. could I put in here that would make this zero? Five. Okay. So I can't have a five here. 
So my domain is every value under the sun except for five. Wow. Are we here today? No. Here. no? All right. Well, I'll turn this off. We'll all go to sleep. So, oh, so, no, no. so, so, so. so I can't have five. So. And remember, when we were doing this notation, I don't know why this, I guess they didn't have the, the, the bracket on their computer when they were setting this up. This should be, because we're talking about sets. Ooh. Sorry, I still don't know how to draw the bracket on it should look like that, right? Mm -hmm. So the only thing we're not including, therefore a bracket, or in this case parentheses, is five. So it says from negative infinity all the way up to five, not including it, the union symbol, this means we put these two sets together, they belong together. And then we, again, don't include the five, but go up infinitely. Cool? So that's our answer. I feel sorry for the guy that's got to watch you guys tomorrow. You can watch it tomorrow. Or lady. Or lady. Yeah, I just, I, guy is general. Just put the answer down, boys. You're not paying attention to the girls. Come on now. What's going on? Sure, they're probably just supposed to see you on tomorrow. They will not. You have an assignment. You don't hand it in, you get zero out of five. But after we're done, can we go to the No. No senior no. You will not finish. I will make sure there's enough sure. there that you will not finish. I'm sorry. You will not go to the senior lounge. It is not playtime. It is school time. You want to play? Leave the school. There's a door and there's a door. You won't graduate. Okay. Then go to school. Chill. Tell me to chill. Uh, get out your laptops. Oh, I guess you're I'm joking. <laughs> so don't forget to send the alarm. Yeah. Oh, who, English? Yes. Oh, who yeah, oh, 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 you're oh, 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 Go to Desmos. Oh no. I'm bad with all the social resources. You remember from the um the, how how do we access their questions? It's in like the group the world. Oh come on man. I think I broke my last discussion. And then we gotta get our direction. First, don't do the questions now. Where he takes it off. So, what's this? Type that in. Go to Desmos. First, stop. Desmos is for graphics. He's gonna take away the fucking Desmos. Yo! Enough. He cursed. Put this in. All right. How I, how I do um, X cubed minus. How I do cubes? Is there a little hat? A little carrot? I'm just using the keyboard. I don't need so I don't need it. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, you do that. Which one? A to B. A to the B. Yes, sir. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Sir, how do I? Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. Come on, man. If you want to give something a power, the button is. Oh, this goes on infinite. The yeah. Okay. Now, looking at that graph, looking at that graph, I don't. I'm gonna look over uh, Alex's shoulder. Man, where are you going? Thank you, thank you, thank you. My John looks kind of. All right. If I said, if I said, if I said, what is f of two negative one? What's f of negative one? So you can look at the graph and look at negative one on the x-axis and look at where that red line is and what's the y value at negative one. I'm going to say should be about three. It is. It is three, it's isn't it? Yeah. Yeah? So you're going to be asked to do it two ways. Two ways. You're going to be asked to look at the graph and see what the output is, right? And the graphs will be given to you on the paper. But you'll also be asked to do it algebraically. Does everybody understand what that means? No? Algebraically means go ahead and do the math. So it's negative one cubed minus four times negative one, right? So this is negative one plus four which happens to be three, three right? So this is three. So F of negative one is three, right? Well, what if, what if, what if our X value is zero? Look at the graph. Where is it? Where is it at zero? At X equals zero. A to B. Where are the buttons? Use the keyboard buttons down there. Lower left. Can't do anything until you type. This. Where does it cross the, where is it at zero? X equals zero. Yeah, what's the Y, what's the Y value there? Yeah, yeah. It's at zero, zero, right? Crosses right through the origin. Does everybody see it? Anybody need help there? We good? You're right there. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. So if I said, just look at it, uh, just look at it, what happens if F, what happens at F of zero, we'd say, oh, well, it's at zero. Well, let's see if that's true. Zero cubed minus four times zero. Is that zero? You betcha. Zero minus zero. All right, and then we did it out, right? So we did it both, both, right? Yeah. Good. Jump ropes to come. Sorry, to do mine. Cool. You know, like you gonna test us on this? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? You can't input a value for x and solve. What do you mean? Estimating on a graph? No, 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 no. I just thought I get better, you know. Okay. Well, that's our job is to practice, right? Okay. Well, I have time for one more. Let's try a more difficult one. Okay? I apologize for a little more difficult. Um, all my friends are over here. 
Okay. Randy gave me a towel. Whoa. What he got at the the Chiefs game while he watched his team lose by a toe. He's a Ravens fan? He apparently is. I think he's from Annapolis. I don't know where. Right yeah. Let's try this function. Let's type this crazy guy in there. Florida. F of X is, let's say, X to the fourth. And we'll try, we'll use easy numbers, don't worry. Uh, plus 3x squared minus 5. Well, let's leave it like that. Let's leave it like that. Okay. Go ahead and graph that. To me, should be some sort of W, right? Looks like a W. Yeah. In a weird way, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, funky W. That's funny. So it should look, it dips way down and starts to bend, looks like that. Something like that. <laughs> Doesn't come down as much, it, it goes more across and up. Sorry, I'm going to get that. A little flat. What'd you get? It's got a little flat going down there. Yeah, I got the same thing Thomas got. I got like the wishbone thing. Huh. He wasn't pointing. Zoom in a little bit. So are we supposed to keep the last one? Uh, no. Delete it. 4 X to the 4th. Go back to that. And square, square, three x square. Try that. Two. Yeah. Okay. Now it looks more like a parabola, right? Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll do that next. How about it? We'll do that one next. I like it. I meant to do that one. I, I messed up when I wrote it. So let's go ahead and put in what is f equals 2, right? To be a, a relatively large number for us. Does everybody know that 2 to the 4th is 16? Does that make sense? 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. Okay, so we've got 2 to the fourth, which is 16. We've got three times two squared, which is three times four, which is 12, right? And then minus five. And then we're gonna do f of two, f of two, right? What is that, 28 minus five? 28 minus 5 was at 23. So f of 2 is 23. It won't be anything that huge on the paper because you'll be able to see it. It's actually on the graph itself when you're estimating. But algebraically, here you go. Are we going to be able to use calculators? Uh, Desmos. That's it. Okay. That's it. Because you won't be in here. You can. You can use calculator if you want. If you're more comfortable with, with your calculator and using the table to find values. Yeah, why not? So the homework. You shouldn't have to. No homework. Just class work tomorrow. Okay. I have time for one more. I lied to you. As I said, we were doing one more, and I Right now, we'll cube it. Yes, and you just put one good question. 
All right, now put that in. Then we'll play with two. Um, let's do this. How do you make these up on the spots? Let's do minus. Minus, minus. Two. Minus, minus. Minus, Yeah, that'll give us something down low. Down low. Up high. Down low. Funky Joe. Now, when you zoom in, you see that it has a y intercept of four, right? You see it crosses the y axis of four because if everything were zero, the only thing you'd have left, right? If x is zero, then you get out of four. So it has a y intercept of four. Um, I don't need you to factor this to find the the x intercepts, you can zoom in and see them on the graph. Damn. 700. 700? I went down to 6.7. So let's go ahead and, and, and find out when, when x equals 2, what do you get out? Did you zoom down to that? When x equals 2, what do you get out? It's uh, a lot, right? This is 16. 16 this is 12. minus 12. This is a lot. Minus 24 plus 4. So 20. Negative 16, right? Could be down at negative 16. Okay, and so on your calculator, when you do that, you can go to the table and take a look at two, and then it'll give you the answer of. Is there a table function on that? Oh, yeah. Oop. I'll figure it out. One of these days, I'll figure it out. But that's all you have to do. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Good? That's basically what you're doing. I want to see if there's anything else that the paper is going to ask you to do that you can't just by looking at it. Almost. Um, no, nah, you're fine. You'll be great. No, 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 no. You're fine. All right. Uh, English kids, head out. All right. Here we got Wait, let's just All right. So you'll have.